What's going on YouTube fam? Today I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the 2024 MX Day MX ones. Uh, before I get into the video, go over the kicks. If you're new to my channel and it's your first time just stumbling across one of my videos, welcome. Thanks for dropping by. But listen, while I have you here, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell for me. That way when I upload new material, post new content, you'll get notified. Then you can head to the channel. You can check out the latest video that I uploaded for you guys. Uh, if you are on social media, any of the platforms, Instagram, X, really any of them um, these days, and you enjoy photos of sneakers, outfit ideas with sneakers, anything related to kicks, honestly, give me a follow. You can find me. I am at I am TMCII. And lastly, while you guys are watching the video or even afterwards and you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. That really goes a long way. Uh, it's an indicator to me. It, it just shows me that you enjoy my content and it make me want to keep recording videos when I have new pickups to share with you guys. So if you enjoy it, hit the thumbs up. Truly appreciate it. Okay, so now that the intro is out of the way for all my first timers, let's dive right into these kicks. So 10 years ago, we got the Air Max Day Air Max Ones and it was on the white and red colorway, but now we have it on the white and royal colorway. Uh, this actually the silhouette's a little bit different. This is the 86 silhouette. The one we got was the traditional MX one that you get uh, nowadays. And I'll kind of go over a little bit more of that when I go through the video. Uh, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over the different materials that they used on the shoe. I'm gonna go over quality control. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna lace them up, toss them on feet, and I'll go over sizing and comfort and all that good stuff for you guys. So just stick around for the whole video and I pretty much got you covered for everything regarding these. So like I mentioned, back in uh, 10 years ago, 2014, we got the white and red Air Max Day pair. And then, you know, the Air Max Day, so like an unofficial like holiday that Nike made up on March 26th. They had the white and red pair, but it had the um, the old silhouette uh, that we that we typically get now. So this silhouette, for those who don't know, the, the big bubble silhouette, the initial Air Max ones actually had this typical air unit, but once uh, they released them in some of those cities and states uh, where they get the really cold temperature. They were having issues with these air units. So they actually re-engineered, redesigned the midsole and the air unit to a smaller air unit that we see now um, just to prevent that. So they actually had some pairs that released way back in the day uh, with some of the larger units. But, you know, ever since they re did the retooling, they have the small air unit that you typically would get on an MX-1 now today. So just a little background on the whole big bubble story for those who didn't know. Um, so let's jump right into this. So the material you have like a kind of felt, um, feel like a little felt suede type material on here. You have mesh on the toe box, you have that nice royal colorway on here. And that same felt material is pretty much the same on this kind of like light gray portion here and on the swoosh. Like I said, it doesn't feel quite like a, a suede. It feels more like a, a, a felt furry type material sort of almost on here. So that's what you have on mainly in the upper. And then you have this bright volt midsole on here. So that's the same thing they had what they did in 20. 14 on the white and red pan. This is why these just stand out so much from your regular traditional, um, you know, white and blue MX ones. They put that vote on a, um, on the mid. So, so coming to the back of the shoe, you got Nike air on here with that, uh, embroidered stitching on here and more of that same kind of felt type material on here. The mesh that you had on the side and the toe box, you get some more of that on the back as well. Only thing with these, you know, they're real hard to clean once they get dirty. Uh, it's the only thing when it comes to like this white mesh material um and after so many wears they're gonna start to turn colors on you too also have like a little yellowish look once they start getting some age uh the tongue you can see you don't have the same material as the toe as you do with the tongue it's more like a nylon material type feeling the tongue is made out of you got the 326 uh, stitch tag on the tongue. You got the size on the side. So that's what they've been doing with these big bubble releases. Put the size right here. And then inside you got this wavy like pattern with um, the Nike logo down here on the insole. So that is pretty much for that. The tips also, I didn't show you guys the tips, lace tips. You only get one set of laces. You got two sets of laces on the last Air Max Day pair. You only get one with these. The tips are that Volt colorway. 
Coming to the outsole, this is your traditional uh, MX1 outsole. Just wanna show you guys what it looks like really quick. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it as far as your materials go. Um, you do get a hang tag. I want to show you guys that as well. You do to get a little nice hang tag coming from the shoes. So that's something that they did throw in for you. Um, and I'm trying to make sure I capture everything on here. So that's pretty much it as far as your materials go uh, on the shoes. As far as quality control, the QC was pretty good on these. I didn't have much to complain about. Um, no major flaws or imperfections. Just a little little piece of peeling right here. Tiny, tiny little glue marks that I spotted. It's not anything major. And that's really good because it's usually hit and miss when it comes to Nike. Um, the quality control can be suspect and sketchy sometimes, but the QC was pretty good on my pair at least. So I don't have anything to really complain about or gripe about. You know, I'm satisfied with what I got on this one. And um, so that's it, QC's pretty pretty good on here, pretty decent on here. Coming to the box, show you guys the box. So you do get a box. This is the same box you've been getting in a lot of the uh, big bubble releases. You get this kind of red kind of peeking behind this black kind of, it looked like a worn type look on the box, but this is the box you get with that swoosh up top. This is the label I was trying to show you guys. So this is your product code, color breakdown. You can scan this with your camera. Uh, it'll bring you to a link that'll take you to the Nike website. It doesn't do anything special. Just bring you to the regular Nike website. Uh, the box, you got more of the holes peeking on the inside for like to represent the, the holes and the stuff on the actual shoe. Coming to the inside of the box, nothing special. You do get the stripey MX1 tissue. Some of the MX1s, you did get this tissue. So you do get that tissue in the inside of here. Uh, that's pretty much it as far as the box go. Nothing else real special about that um, that I'm missing for you guys. So uh, show you guys the kicks one more time. Actually, I have my uh, 2020 fours uh 2014s here as well so just showing you guys a little bit of the differences well, i mentioned you had the different mids so uh then you do on the 2014s then you do on here so just a little bit of comparison just a little different show you the, the first mx1 the og and then now you got these happy to have both leave me a comment let me know what you guys think of these usually reply to you guys if y'all leave comments i won't just leave you hanging i'll hit the heart button or the thumbs up button at least um if I don't reply to exactly what you say, but I'm gonna take them off here, stop talking, toss these on feet, uh, show you guys what they look like on feet. Y'all hang tight. All right, guys, here's a quick on feet look at the MX Day MX Ones. This is the white and royal colorway. Like I said, opposed to the white and red we had back in 2014. I just wanna show y'all what they look like really quick on feet. Um, my most asked question is usually about sizing and fit. So let's go straight into that. So to me, I have a medium, somewhat narrow foot. Um, and on most MX, I usually go true to size, but as of late, I feel like the MX ones have been running a little bit on the roomy side. So I've been going down a half side, a half size because I like a snug and exact fit on my kicks, not tight to where my toes are balled up, but a snug fit, like a sock, like a glove to like really fit me. I, I don't feel like my feet are doing any more groin. And I don't like a lot of space and room in my shoes. So to get a snug fit, I went down a half size and they actually fit me perfectly. I love the way they fit when I went down a half size. If you like that same fit like me, I think go down a half size and you should be okay. If you have medium to narrow width feet. If you don't like that fit, just go true to size and you should be a-okay. If you have wide feet and you want a snug and exact fit, I think go true to size, but if you want a little bit of room in your shoes and you have wide feet, you might want to consider going up a half size. As far as comfort goes, um, this technology is from the late 80s uh, and it haven't changed too, too much. These, these are way more comfortable than your regular traditional MX one. So I, I think they did some modifications to the, the technology in them because they're not as stiff feeling is like your regular MX one. Maybe it's the bigger air bubble in the midsole. That could be it. So they are a comfortable shoe. They're real light. Definitely can rock these and wear these all day, not being any kind of pain or discomfort. Uh, but they're not like the most comfortable shoes, but they are like something that you can easily wear all day and be perfectly fine. So that's my two cents. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. As I mentioned, thank you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And I'm going to wrap, wrap it up here. See y'all on the next one. Peace.